This is when I realized I was no longer a pick me woman. When the narcissist attacked me with a bat, and when I say attack, he wielded the bat over my head and stopped shy of hitting me, very close, within inches of hitting me, so that I could understand just how precarious my life was. When he lied to the police on me, when I called the police on him and said I was the one who attacked him when he was the one who attacked me, and then he had his daughter lie to try to back up his lie. When he came to me that same day within hours of the within an hour of the police leaving and asked me to pay his phone bill and I told him F to the F mother F no, I knew my pick me days were over. I knew my life had changed. Let's talk. Let's share. Let's dish, girl. So this is Lux LaFemme. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment on my videos and Dams and Insurers, please don't forget to click the notification bell. And on Instagram, it's Lux underscore La underscore Femme. I figured out I wasn't a pick me girl. I had stopped that energy when that happened to me. Now, it took me three weeks to leave trying to get my money together for, you know, deposit for an apartment and things of that nature. But what drove me to leave after everything was said and done was when the side chick showed up at my house at 11.30 at night and said she had been stooping this man in my house on my couch for two years. Girl, let me share. I thanked her for her time. I shut the door and packed everything I wanted and took the cable boxes because uh, that, that was in my name and that, no, absolutely not. I don't even trust that you're going to turn them in. And I'm not paying this bill and I'm not past this $300 for these things. I took all the cable boxes, baby. All of them. And bounced. He texts, try to call me. I wouldn't answer. So he's texting me. And, oh, this is just some chick that she has a crush on me. I, I'm not even like that. It's not even like that. Blah, blah, blah. And I proceeded to put on my um, lawyer hat. Now, I'm not a lawyer, but, and I don't play one on TV, but I knew enough to go, mm, okay. One, she has your telephone number. We both called you on her phone. Left a message. Got your distinct, hey, this is capital E W radio, and you're calling another 10. The recite the phase the phrase that pays and you'll get a trip with so and so um hot boy off of boy we're prohibited. This has been a mama, 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 holla. I'm okay. So I'm I'm of course not saying the whole thing. I'm omitting certain uh key phrases because who knows if the person's watching me or not. But just to say again, he has a distinct um, voicemail message. So of course that then, um, she knew the names of his children and she had the address. I mean, it was not rocket, like it, it, it I mean, you just say it's not rocket science or to say it's not brain surgery, girl, it's not a script from, um, it was, you know, what am I trying to think? Oh, it's not a script from the um, Real Housewives of any place. It's not a script from Gil Gilligan's Island, honey. It, is, it doesn't take that much thought to put it all together. I packed my things and left. From that point forward, it started a journey on me, started me on my journey of no, to uh, dispelling that pick me energy. We can get rid of that. Mm -mm, no more pick me energy. And let's fast forward to last week. I'm in a local store and this person approaches me and asks me for my number and I give it to him. And I share. Um, oh, he reaches out to me through, you know, he texts me and wants to get to know me. And I share with him, I'm available on weekends. We can get together for drinks. I give him the name of a, a local bar 
We can meet there around six ish. He says, cool. Well, but you know what? I have this free hotel room. Um, maybe you can come up and, you know, hang out. And I said, no, I haven't heard from him since. (laughs) I can't tell you how fabulous I feel about that. I am so happy that he did not continue to waste my time. Sweetie, you are looking for a piece of me, that beautiful piece of triangle, that life-giving, life-affirming, warm um, uh, center of the fabulousness that is me. I totally get it. But I'm not just that triangle, right? I'm way more complex than that. But it's very apparent to me that that's all you wanted. Well, if I hadn't that, what's to say that if I didn't, um, haven't been dispelling that pick me energy that I wouldn't have taken them up on it. What's to say that? Who, who, you know, would my amygdala, that fight or flight kick in and go, no, that's not a good idea. Or would she be going like, well, you know, we haven't seen being, been with a man in a long time. And, you know, this would be the opportunity. Would I totally give up all of what makes me special and unique and worthy and lovable so that um, piece of a man can have a piece of me just so I can say I'm wanted, I'm desirable, I'm lovable? I decided when I left the narcissist that I was going to put me first. And that was the first step in this journey of dispelling the pick me energy. Au revoir.